The heartbreak and frustration continues tonight after the death of a 10th grader at Menchville High School in Newport News. A vigil for 16 year old Kalia Jones just wrapped up. And she died after passing out from a medical emergency Tuesday at school. Family members say school staff didn't do enough to render aid. Michelle Wolf has more from those mourning Kalia. Despite the rain, dozens gathered under a gazebo at Riverview Farm Park to share stories and memories of 16 year old Kalia Jones. 16 and 9. 16 candles for each year of Kalia Jones's life before it was abruptly cut short. And 9 for each of the minutes her family says she laid without receiving medical attention after she collapsed this week at Menchville High School. That was a long nine minutes. Mm -hmm. And like her mother said, all she got was a cold towel. Was a towel. The delay, which Jones's family, many of whom work in medicine, saw on security video and are baffled by what they saw as a lack of immediate aid. Jones's grandmother, Tisa Schaefers, is an emergency room nurse. Good quality CPR. You get that AED connected. You watch that rhythm and you do what that machine tells you to do. On Friday, family, friends, classmates, teachers and even Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew braved the cold and rain to honor the 16 year old's memory. Seconds are important and uh, to take an action is important. Menchville algebra teacher Marcus LaCour never taught Kalia, but tells us her loss is felt throughout school walls. It's one of our students. I'm, I'm hurt. How can you not be? The teen's family shared stories of the honor student who was a positive role model and a kind soul. You can do anything because she could do anything. I'm telling Literally. you, she could do anything. She could plan parties. She could bake. She, could, <laughs> she was the leader. <laughs> Jones may be gone, but her family is determined to have her story live on. What do you want to say to Kalia if you had to say anything to her right now? I love you. And that another family never has to suffer the loss that they felt. Somebody needs to step forward and say the laws are going to change. And those laws need to be changed in Kalia's name. She is a leader and a trailblazer, and this is her trail and we're lighting it ablaze. A GoFundMe has been started to help with Kalia's funeral expenses. We have a link on wavy.com. In Newport News, Michelle Wolfton on your side.